Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. The FNAF game is often referred to as a virus, right? The FNAF Virus Detected 5, a fan-made game that is part of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. This game is set a week after the events of the fourth game and features animatronics uh, you know, that are in despair. It's a fictional concept within the FNAF fan community playing on the theme of computer viruses and malware in a horror game context. Additionally, there are various YouTube videos discussing FNAF themed games that are said to contain malware or have the appearance of being malicious software. Um, as an example, videos titled, I downloaded a, you know, the FNAF virus game and don't download this FNAF uh, game, highlighted concerns about potential risks associated with downloading certain fan games, particularly those not officially sanctioned or verified, right? So in the context of actual malware, some fan games like Five Nights at Candies remaster and FNAF 6 Freak Show have been reported to trigger antivirus software, leading to confusion about whether they contain real threats or if the detections are false positives due to the way these games are developed. So is there a way that you can detect if an FNAF game contains a, a malware? Well, there are certain things that you can do, right? There's source verification. You can ensure that you are downloading the game from a reputable source. Official platforms like Steam or well-known websites are generally safer options. Avoid downloading games from untrusted or suspicious sites, okay? That's something that you're going to want to pay attention to. Don't just be out here wilding and clicking and accepting. Make sure it comes from reputable sources. You, you know, there's also user reviews. Check user reviews and ratings on the download page. A game with high ratings and positive reviews is more likely to be safe. Be cautious of games with many negative reviews or warnings about malware. Then you have there's antivirus scans. Before running the downloaded file, scan it with reliable antivirus software. This can help detect any potential threats or malware hidden in the file and then also get the community community involved right uh look for discussions in gaming communities or forums other users may have shared their experiences with the game including any issues related to viruses or malware you then have the official game websites right visit the official website of the game or its developer to verify the legitimacy of the download link official sites typically provide safe and verified download links you're going to also want to be careful to false positives. Be aware that some antivirus software might flag a game as a threat due to false positives, especially if the game is developed you know, using certain software like Click Team. If you suspect a false positive, you can submit the file to the antivirus provider for further analysis. Uh, there's ransomware concerns. Be cautious of any suspicious behavior from downloaded FNAF games, as some users have reported experience that could potentially be ransomware or other harmful um, software, right? Now, when it comes to false positives, there is a way to differentiate, right? Uh, to differentiate between a false positive and actual malware, you can scan with VirusTotal. You can upload a suspicious file to VirusTotal, which checks you know, it against multiple antivirus engines. Um, it, if only a few engines flag it, it might be a false positive, but if many do, it could actually be malware. You can also quarantine the file, allow your antivirus software to quarantine the file. This isolates the file and prevents it from causing harm while it is analyzed further. There is search malware databases, look up the file name or hash in malware databases, such as hybrid uh, analysis or virus bay to see if it is recognized as a known threat. You can check for antivirus updates, ensure your antivirus software is up to date as updates can resolve false positives by refining detection algorithms. You have reviewed di uh, digital signatures. Legitimate software often has a digital signature from the developer. Check the file's signature to verify its authenticity. Research the application. That's another one, right? Search online for information about the application. If it is widely reported as safe, it might be a false positive. Manual analysis. If you have the expertise, manually analyze the file using tools like a hex editor to inspect its context for sp suspicious behavior, okay? There are so many games this year uh, that are known to have viruses attached to them. Games like Minecraft, The Sims 4, PUBG are our few. So be safe out there. If you like this video, take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.